Hey guys, how's it going? Got a quick video for you here today. The Zippo Soft Flame Butane Insert. Is it good or is it just a glorified Bic? Let's get right into it. So let's start off with specs. Let's pull this thing out of here. We got the insert itself. Really not much to say about it. Um, you got a spot here to release your butane. And then here is the flint wheel. So you strike and then hold and you got fired. There's a filling port on the bottom and a spot to put your flint. There's no fire adjustment thingy bobbity. So this is the size of the flame. You're just gonna get that. Well, other than that, there's not really much to say about it. It's a stainless steel construction. Is it like a bit? Right? Is it just a glorified Bic lighter? Because it's 30 bucks. You know, where you can get a Bic for like, what, 79 cents or something? So, let's talk about it. I believe personally this is better than a Bic lighter. Personally, I just, I think it's way better than your common Bic. And I have some reasons for that. We've got a Bic here. Number one is it lasts forever. This is gonna last much longer than this here. It's gonna last a lot longer. This thing is, again, like I said, it's built to last. It's built to go through stronger, crazier terrain than you know your typical thing. It's stainless steel construction versus plastic and whatever the heck this is, probably some some kind of cheap steel. You know, so right off the bat, I'll tell you, it's built to last. It's just, it's it looks good, feels good, overall is good compared to your common pick. Again, now granted, 79 cents, over 30 bucks Canadian. 50 Canadian, I can't remember. I don't know, it's one of those. Number two is it looks great. When you come camping or something like that, I'm, I'm not personally a smoker, so I use this for camping or just to have lighter on me. You know, pulling this thing out, meh, everyone's seen a big, right? Pulling this guy out, you know, at the very least it's like, whoa, you have a Zippo and what a cool insert, you know? It, it just, it looks so much better. I think, I, I love the look of a Zippo and so now when I can have a kind of like a common Bic but better inside it is quite more enjoyable than just carrying a common Bic. So, number three, you can pass this on to the next generation. Would you la rather have something like this happen? Son, I don't have long to live. I got bitten by a monarch butterfly. So I want to give you the most important thing in my collection. My lighter. I shall cherish this for the rest of my life. Or something like this. A 90 cent Bic lighter? Is that all I'm worth to you, dead amount? Son, it's more like a 70 cent lighter. Personally, if you're giving somebody a 70 cent big lighter when you pass away, really? <laughs> like really, just saying, just yeah, give it my give it my two cents. Now, likes and dislikes on this particular insert. Now, I always will love uh, Zippos. I love their products. Love what they do. Now, let's talk about the insert itself. My likes are one of them is I can bleed this thing out. I've, I have torch lighters and other, other things like that. And for it to bleed out a torch lighter, you gotta constantly be clicking that button and it's gonna constantly be igniting it. This thing, all I gotta do is just push down on the actual um, igniter spring cam thing. I don't know what you would call this. You know, and when you, you know, open it, it's releasing butane. So it's really easy to bleed out. I'm very happy with that. You know, when you get bad butane, I actually had to bleed this thing out, I think it two times, two or three times to get it to work, just because I don't know. Um, I might have just had a, that insert or but I got it working now obviously that was one thing that was kind of confusing but I got it working now so whatever it's nice to have it that you can bleed this thing out also another thing I really like is that it is full steel you know everything is just it's solid it's a solid piece it's going to last a long time the my dislike personally with this one I think I only have one is on the cam spring here as you can see right there there's this little plastic piece. The plastic piece sits up here and there is a spring all the way down. My dislike with this is, is that basically every single time you're opening and closing it, right, this thing is scratching on that plastic piece. And that's just dumb, I'm not gonna lie. That was a kind of a dumb move on Zippo's part. They, 
like you guys could have just take an old piece scrap of metal and put that in there and it would work much better. Now, a good friend of mine, Zippo Fanatic 77, he's the one who uh, custom made me my Zippo. He uh, has this recommendation to take a little bit of coconut oil and just put a little tiny dab on one side. Okay, all you need is a tiny little bit. That just lubricates it and then it's not scratching plastic off. Other than that, I do like this insert. I don't know if it's for me or not. I haven't carried it all that much, but I so far enjoy it much more than a big. And it, again, it just, it looks, it looks so good. So I would highly recommend buying one of these. Link in the description below if you wish to. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in this video. Um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say on this insert. That was the Zippo Soft Flame Butane Insert.